guys, it's Brandon, aka The Workman's Pomp. Today I'm going to be doing sort of like a follow-up review to a company that I did some reviews for quite a few years back. The company is Battleborn Grooming Company. Now, like I said, I've been waiting for these guys to put out something new for some time now because I liked their original products. Uh, so, what I'm going to be talking about today is the clay pomade. So getting right into it, it says it's a firm hold, the scent is bay rum, matte finish, water-based clay pomade. On the side, it says for best results apply to towel dried or blow dried hair. Right now, I have towel dried hair. It's a little bit on the drier side. Popping this open, you can see eh, it's kind of like a sandy looking color. Scent. I would describe as a bay rum, a little spicy, slight scent of vanilla. The scent will dissipate throughout the day, but it is prominent. Uh, Scoop-wise, I've been using this for a week now. Scoop-wise, comes out pretty good. That's a little bit more than I need. You don't need a ton for this product. You just need enough to just get it all over your hair, depending on the style that you're going for. Breakdown on this, well, you can see it goes away. Um, really, really quickly. Application wise, I'm just gonna slick my hair back with this and make sure that it's in. Uh, for clay products, um, in general, I usually like to break down small amounts at a time. Typically clay is on the drier side. And in order to, and you'll know you got too much that if you break it down, there'll be like white spots on your hands uh, if you don't break it down good enough. Typically clay is drier, and that's why it says to apply in towel dry or damp hair. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to apply. Application wise, there is um, some hairs popping out if you put it in drier hair, which like I said, mine is on the drier side of towel dried. So what I'll do is add just a little bit water, a little bit of water to this to get some flexibility, but application by itself is not bad and i'm going to say this right now if you're somebody who likes a looser look what you could do um, is basically put it in dry like i just did and you'll see the way that my hair naturally goes it kind of wants to part and basically if you like that loose look you can pop your hair up like this and honestly if you have a longer hairstyle i mean you'd be good to go just like this just couple of scoops and it looks good and you can just be messing with it throughout the day. Endurance is good on this. I will say it does taper off a little bit at the end of the day, but I'll get into that. But like for the sake of people that just want to use this like a clay, this is what it looks like on kind of like medium to longer hair. I'm going to add some water and show you what it looks like with a pump though. I'm going to start slicking it back with my brush and uh, when adding a little bit of water, you can see it uh, gives it a little bit more, um, I would say, moldability. Uh, when you put it into dryer hair or towel dried hair, then it kind of makes it harder to get like a slick style like this, if this is what you're going for, which is typically what I go for. But as you saw, it's pretty easy to get a tussled kind of look too, which I like about this product. Now popping it up into some wet hair, damp hair, damper hair than my dry hair. You can see styling, it's really easy. I have normal hair. People say my hair looks thick, but it's it's kind of, it's not fine, but it's like just average. Styling with this is really easy. And with two scoops, I'm getting some good results really quickly. Now, that does it. I mean, really, I'm just gonna get kind of like a little bit of a pomp with my comb and just call it good. You could push it forward, you could kind of, you know, you could get like, <laughs> you know, I, I have to always mess with my hair, but you could get like a, um, a pick if you want to. You could blow dry this stuff. The good thing about this stuff is the flexibility, and that's what I like about it. And I also like that you don't have to use a lot. Now, my issues with it, if you're not, this is kind of a neutral thing, if you're not a fan of strong scents, um, you're going to want to use a little bit of this because it does have a strong sense a scent to it. But the good thing about this is that, like you saw, I used two medium-sized scoops. 
you don't need a lot. And I have a lot of hair right now, so you don't need a lot of this. So as the day goes on, the scent will dissipate if it's too strong for you. I personally like it, but I have had some people be like, oh, that's, that's strong. So that's one of my issues. And then my other issue, which is kind of like a double side of the sword as well, is that the endurance will taper off from a firm to about a medium towards the end of the day, depending on what you're doing and what the um, weather's like. Now, once again, this isn't necessarily a critique on my end because of the fact I only use two small scoops. You could easily apply more and you could get a stronger endurance from this. So really, I mean, just, being, just keep in mind that if you use a little bit and you're using a pump style like this, you might lose some endurance. If you're using a loose style like I was doing before, two scoops you was fine. Um, overall, I think this stuff is really good. Um, it has what you would want from a clay, which is you can style with it dry and get that loose flowing restylability, or you could style with it wet like this and you can lock it in, lock the freshness in for later, which will, you know, once this dries and I go out and about, it'll stay like this for the rest of the day. So it has the good sides of a pomade, the good sides of a clay. And that's why I tend to like this product, honestly. Um, overall, if I had to rate it, I would give this a 4.5 out of 5. I think this is an excellent clay pomade. Like I said, I think it walks the line of clay and pomade very well, well enough to where, like I said, I wanna, I keep saying like I said, but like I was saying, I mean, honestly, if I wanna put it in with a loose look because my hair's long enough, boom. If I wanna style it and go to the office, boom. Like either or, it works really, really well. And it's nice to not have to look to two products to get two different results. And that's where this product shines. So anyways, guys, if you have tried the Battleborn Clay Pomade, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, or concern, um, let me know as well. And uh, have a good one.